Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing our playthrough of Soul Calibur 5. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kira smiled and easily let go of Pyra. Para. Now that Para had been saved from Terra. The only person she'd have ever in theory known as her mother because she was free when she was kidnapped and it makes no sense why Terra wouldn't go with that route because that would actually make her plot so much easier. Patokaroko. So, only Pyro. wish was to go home with his sister. What he had home? a home, apparently. Yeah, didn't he leave his only home? I don't care. Pyrrha agreed to go with him since, you know, he tried to murder her only mother figure and was left with no one. Basically. And the other. And he one mass. just kidnapped And her. one mass murderer is no different than another he mass murderer. He just kidnapped murderer. her, basically. He forced away everyone around her and was like, you're mine now. That, that summed up this game quite well, actually. What? Forces from what From what I know of what you've said. Oh, yeah, basically. You know, He's Pyro's, creepy. you know, I don't character arc him. seems to be... There is no character arc in this game. No character arc. Right, so someone made a horrible mess of this pen here. Like, that map was so beautiful, and now there's a giant big red line for it. Yeah, no one cares. It's a map of Soul Calibur Five. True. Do you have a home? How did we Yeah, I plan on living out the rest of my life with my sister, How? if you know what he means. First, we need to learn more about each other. Wink! <laughs> That's your sister, you sick. <laughs> Shut up. I'm tired of your threats and gibberish. I'm leaving to be fair, I'm leaving the a team I joined like five days ago or something. Don't worry. I'll protect you from the Malfest. That does not look like protecting, that looks like ever righteous rage. None of these expressions match! Hey guys! Hey, this astral from out of nowhere! <laughs> I live in this forest! I thought I was dead! How dare you not. try and steal my berries! Also, I'm pretty sure Astros that... wasn't... Does... Does Palkatros just call everything malfested? I'm malfested! That's clearly not malfested! It's those darn rats! It's... It's clearly those like... Dumb monkeys! It's clearly... Astro, if you look thinner, have you been, you know, going on a diet? It's clearly some sort of Frankenstein monster. Oh, gosh darn it, the speed of Astro, I'm never gonna do this. There's only... There's only one way I can beat him. The range. There we go. As well. And the power. Astro's just overall quite powerful. Baldo's one of the best characters to use against him. Did you try to spinny kick me? Yes. And he hit the air. And then he just headbutted you in the mouth. What? Well, I was defending down there! Oh. And you're dead. Don't worry, you've got more rounds. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I can always continue. So. There are problems with Yeah, people. you've already done. You got beaten by Jan, so quite honestly, being beaten by Ashdorf would be an improvement. <laughs> I got beat by you as well. Four times! In a row! You even lost his Keelik. To be fair, he wasn't Keelik. Not the Keelik I remember. He's called Keelik. He's Keelik in name only. He's got Keelik's voice actor. He's got Keelik's uh, face. If you could see it. Um. So, I'm like... Oh, come on! Yeah, he does a block button. Um. So I'm gonna no, I'm more annoyed that no one's been rung, ringed out yet, and now Astroth is naked. Slow. No, I've gone from Astroth to Naked Roth. Fear my nudity. Oh gosh, his bald head is weird. I... Yeah, that is <laughs> weird for him. Not the uh, metal electric <laughs> spikes coming out of his spines. I don't know why he's now got plural spines. Um, okay, I'm happened. gonna I'm gonna complain about Dota. I was uh, I don't care about Dota. Oh, okay. Um, but I, there's also a cutscene. Like, half of this is just cutscene. His, his face de is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh! Turns out being hit by a giant, naked, giant, axe man. What? I, uh, what? The. I think 
the more important question is, you, how are you still okay? Like you were complaining that I'm terrified of murder and everything, and it's like you just witnessed someone get murdered. More important. Wait, though. Ivy's involved in this plot? Yeah, not really. More importantly, he had a little cut on his arm from an axe the same size as him. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. It was it was a uh, Astros little pokes that he does. Remember his, his little. Eh. No, my arm is bleeding. Well, yes, it's been in the game for like five predecessing games. Wait, three? I don't remember any of this. And again, I never played the uh, Soul Blade oh, hold or. Hold well, I never played Soul Edge or Soul Calibur. Do you know the whole history behind the whole Edge thing? No. You know why they had to change it from Soul Edge? Why? Oh, they? I think Pyro is a bit more than just rude. Well, basically, there was this one guy who uh, I think he made a game in like the late 80s, early 90s. And so he decided that he owned everything named Edge. So it was insane. Um, and he'd copy and he'd sue you and try to get the rights off you for Edge stuff. And so to avoid this, Namco named their game Soul Calibur instead of Soul Edge because no one wanted to deal with the hassle of him. He continued this even when he wasn't really making any games with the word Edge in it and still kept claiming he had the rights to it. Oh. Then he got obliterated. He tried to sue EA over Mirror's Edge. <laughs> and EA destroyed him in court. Wow. And now he's banned from ever using Edge. Wow. Uh, Pira learned for the first time what family meant as... This is not... No. Apparently family means getting attacked by giant naked giants in the wood. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling Asher of a giant naked giant. But oh well. I tried to forget her painful past. Murdering people? That's Palkatross's past as well. That's Palkatross's future and his present. Uh, her brother was slightly too happy that his wish had now been fulfilled. The siblings did not realise that they were being watched from afar. I'm questioning if the narrator is actually bothered to watch the get, you know, play the game themselves, or were they actually just like, no. go, you know, got told like in ramblings, they're like, oh, I'll just narrate this, and then it's like, that happened, he doesn't know the context, content of it. He, he knows what happens, but not the context? Yeah, that's it. Not content. He knows the content, not the context. Um. So, I mean, I know Soul Edge. Damn, these woods are massive. And Soul Calibur exists. Family don't usually stick around together forever. They, you know, part ways, do they other die. stuff, have their own families. I'm trying to find what this. Hi. Other. Oh. That tiny scratch from Astroth stopped you. Hello. Get away, you creepy naked man! Let's kill him. Well, don't, because Valdo's one of the only redeeming features. Um, it's wearing safe, yeah. Blood as she protects those she loves. Battle one. Look, she's known him for five minutes. She didn't even know she exi he existed. Or shouldn't have done, like... She was free unless... Yes! Finally, a ring out! Even when severely wounded, the true victor never gives up. No, that wasn't much of a wound. I didn't get hit. Battle two. Fight. Um... Okay, now I'm Wow. Let me stand up! Oh, second. So, no, I'm not holding on a second. I can gosh darn it! Yes, you, what? Get angry? Because you're trying to raise a subject with me, but you haven't even found out what it is. No, I stopped because you started getting all moany. Creator Yuga is the name of the original name of Soul Calibur. In the sense that it was the sword that Tsinghua had. And then it became. Oh no! Uh. And then that one is. Yeah, hit would be good. <laughs> no, damn, damn it! 
Okay, so the other two treasures are, um... Oh, you were looking at the treasures, okay. Yeah. It's, uh, Keelix Staff and... Stop! Spinning round me! <laughs> what it does. It's, um, Keelix Staff and the mirror he uses. To purge things. Okay. I don't know why they're oh, related, God, it. but... Stop that! Uh. Oh. You remember when? Gosh! Uh, you remember when earlier you'd said how? That's because you didn't allow me time to actually prepare. You wouldn't die in fighting games. Prepare what? To properly look up the moose sets. Like I managed, I before or when I played Pyro, I'd gone through the you know back when afterwards I started to get the character customization. I'd gone through the arcade mode like ten times with her. I had like t eight to ten hours of experience with her. You played her in training mode. Yeah, for five minutes. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't play her at all when I did this. <sighs> Once they board the ship from the eastern side of the Penis Helmet to traverse the Mediterranean, they will soon be found in back in Athens, the homeland. Athens. <laughs> <laughs> the two port city, but peaceful city engulfed in flames. You need to chill, man. Like all he was doing was walking around in circles. That's what Volo Every does. Why does everyone have a quicker attack than me? Probably. How do I do the advancing guard? I thought it was just defend with the timing. But it's not worked once. What are you doing here? What do you want? Screw you! Both of you! I am here for that What? I want it. I shall destroy it here once and for all. Is he Nightmare? Oh, he does kind of have a character sprite. No, he is Nightmare. Did you like that transformation? Yep. Take off that silly armor. He doesn't exist. <laughs> He's literally standing in front of you. Now, wait, how did that not cut her? Solid has apparently gotten very blunt over the years. There was a fake Solid? Yeah, that's when fakes have everything. But you're not Azure. You're black and red, actually. Or you're a Nightmare, you're just a cosplayer. Onyx or Crimson Nightmare would have been a better fitting name. I so could go with Black Nightmare, but... It was weird the other day. You were calm. I got phoned up by Grandad on behalf of our aunt for something for Nan. Yeah. Turns out I was just senselessly killing people. That explains the fact that I was senselessly killing people. You killed countless humans. How did you not figure this out yet? Yeah, again. Why did Soul Calibur choose them? Also, isn't it a bit early to be throwing in the nightmare? Hmm. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> no, um, yeah, the... Oh yeah, the subtitles, like you said, they've disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna look up some of this stuff. But before I can do combos and everything- oh! Cussie. Oh, I forgot they were in this game. Okay, I mean... It's... But that's your puppet! It... What? Liam.
Don't don't think too hard about it. It's Soul Calibur Five. So am I doing this as Pyro or Pyro Omega? I think it's Omega, which is basically the exact same. Already but better. I'm sure you'll be glad to know that there's 20 episodes. What? And you're at episode 6, 7, 8, 11. 11. Of course, cool, so apparently you're halfway through the story already. Okay. <laughs> oh, and none of this makes any difference because it's. You have to play as a Rogan layer, so. I <laughs> just stepped You broke neck. my neck! Also... Well, he could have had a pleasant sight as he died. You jumped straight onto his horn? Yeah. Like... That made me feel happy. I'm pretty sure that'd be more painful than... Having the neck broken. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely funny. You chill now? Yeah, I it chill. goes through you. Yeah. Like, through your ass and through your spine. The battle rages battle three. I have no idea, will he ever grab this? Let's try it. Knee him in the balls and throw him on the floor. Pyro, you were pretty evil from the get-go, weren't you? Oh, come on! I want to use my armor. Yeah. You don't have enough charge to use it. You haven't been hit. No, I did have enough charge earlier. Oh. I tried to use it and he blocked it. I can't. There we go. Ah! Oh! No, not blocked. He interrupted me. There, there we go. go. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Again. I'm calm now. Yeah, I was gonna, I'll, I'll yeah a tea thing, yeah. I was asked if I had any nettle tea, because Nan's legs were swelling up apparently. Oh. And nettle tea's good for that, but I didn't. I did have detox tea, however, which, you know, as it removes toxins, because it's detox, it has, has, you know, has a good positive effect anyway. OH so, GOD I'M ON FIRE! So I, um, gave a, a packet of my detox tea, which is actually very nice. Oh no, my sister's here. YOU'RE THE MONSTER! Oh wow! Uh, I, yeah, I, I thought I was the monster for murder Parker trust you'll find out that you're the monster all along. It makes sense. If Pagatrus suddenly said, this makes me feel aroused, I would not be surprised. It fits his character perfectly. Me, uh, it's the thing he hates. <laughs> That's actually the most logical thing. That's actually the most logical thing I've ever heard come out of his lips. That's not hard. In fact, that's one of the most logical things I've heard anyone in this sort of situation say. Look, don't judge me for my immediate reaction, and I'm having a hard time dealing with all these thoughts. Let me think for a second. I mean, with family, I've known you for five minutes, and apparently three years that I can't remember. Because your mother got involved with affairs that probably didn't need to be involved in. You know, she probably did. Yeah, she did stop Cervantes, so... Well, she stopped... No. Taki stopped uh, Cervantes. She stopped Ghost Pyro! Taki stopped Cervantes. Sophia beat the heck out of Inferno. Oh. And then Siegfried came along and picked up the sword. Yeah. Ruining everything. Good job, Sig. To be fair, he effectively had the same role that Young Song had in every other game. Messing it up. Because, you know, young... No, as in the naive guy who doesn't think that Soul Edge is evil. Yeah. And then, of course, Siegfried learned that, the, you know, the, the hard, hard way. way. Whereas Young Song had to have everyone telling him repeatedly. And he only found out at the end of Soul Calibur 3. It's like, ah. Well, tell him, it's Young Min, I'm going to team up with you to destroy Soul Edge. It's, loves her brother. Yeah! <laughs> what? That was the title I got given. Oh. Loves her brother. Mm, yeah. Uh, I'll read this, then we can end. Pyrrha's body slowly... Slowly? <laughs> slowly in the space of five seconds? No wonder why you guys think five minutes is enough to bond with family. <laughs> uh, as she cut down people and witnessed their blood... Wait, oh. So, uh, wait hold on, is... uh, hold on. Are we sure we're not talking about Palkatross here? 
I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can swap them around easily enough. Pacolotatrus, the Rex, feared what Pyrrha had become and ran for his life, wandering Europe as if in a trance. Oh, eventually, that sounds like a nightmare that itself. Eventually, he found himself in front of Sig. How? That is a very convenient random walking. Well, yeah, he walked over the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Just walked right through it. That where he went, like, hungrier, bomier, and around for uh, Bavaria. I'm pretty sure when they decided the next session, they were just throwing darts at a board. I don't think they had a dartboard, mate. Uh, no, it was just the map. Anyway, let's, um... Let's end. Yes. Cheerio.